So I'm gonna give you an updated PKGI tutorial because my old one was actually terrible. Now I'm gonna make this click. You're gonna need like three things. You're gonna need a computer, a jailbroken PS3, and a USB drive. So you're gonna wanna go on your computer and go on Brewology right there. And you're gonna wanna click on the Homebrew tab. And you're gonna wanna scroll down until you see PKGI and download the file. Once your PKGI file is downloaded, you're gonna wanna drag and drop it into your USB. It would be plugged in to be right there. And once you do that, you're going to want to unplug your USB from your computer, plug it back into your laptop. Go to Package Manager, Install Package Files, Standard, and your file's right there. Once it's downloaded, you'll see it on your home screen. You're going to want to launch it. Now you're going to hear some music, and you're going to see this the first time you open it. This is normal, and I'm going to teach you guys how to fix this right now. So I'm going to leave a Google Drive link in the link of this uh, in the comments on this. is going to be a pinned comment. And it's gonna have the two files that you need to fix PKGI and actually get it working. So you're gonna to wanna to go into Multiman. Once Multiman is loaded up, you're gonna to wanna to go into the Multiman uh, Content Manager tab right here. You're gonna to wanna to click File Manager. And you're gonna see this screen. You're gonna to wanna to, uh, hover over with the right stick and uh, double tap X on PS3 root. And then you're gonna to wanna to click dev underscore USB. And assuming that you copied the files, the two text files that I put in the comments onto your USB, you're gonna to wanna to click it and you'll see those two files right there. Then you're gonna to wanna to open up another one of these. Click dev hdd0. Then you're gonna to wanna to click the all lower caps game folder. Double tap that. And you're gonna to wanna to click this np00pkgi3 folder. And then you're gonna click the user directory folder. Go back onto the USB window and just highlight both of these with X and then press circle, copy them. Then go onto the user directory window, circle again, and press paste. You want to click yes and from here you can exit out of multi-man once you're done with multi-man you're going to want to go back on the pkgi so once you're back on pkgi you'll see this and you'll see this tab hopefully and you'll click refresh and it's refreshing and boom just like that you now have a working pkgi